Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady. I am here to show you a couple of the paper pumpkin kits. This is February's in the bag kit. Um, Stampin' Up! in the past has, Stampin' Up!'s had these kits for over a year. I have been hesitant to recommend them. Um, these last two kits, though, have been much better, so I'm really anxious to see what April's kit will be. But this is in the bag, and it came with, and it's designed to make five of these little gift bags or they're not they're not tiny gift bags but they're on the smaller side and I really do like the bags are very well made it's nice thick paper it's folded over it has metal grommets there for the handle and then it comes with things to accessorize them I did um, this bag is basically as the directions I added a little bit of stamping down there but that's basically as the directions recommend them as you can see in the instruction sheet so you receive a bag and you receive the um, baker's twine, the clips, the handles in there. You receive a pistachio pudding ink spot, the um, round images for this. I say I love these two images. I've already used them. You can tell because they, the photopolymer images that come with them now, they do stain, but they still work just fine. But you can see I've used those already in other projects. And some dimensionals. And then you have these pages of punch outs and I'll show you a full one. Those are ones I've been using. They come with sheets for the alphabet and then you have the Bermuda Bay solid pieces. And then you also have some of these white punch outs. Here, I'll punch it out so you can see a little bit better that go in between. So those are the punch outs with the letters. And then you receive five of these bags. Dyeing these handles would be really easy to do with an alcohol and ink refill mixture. And I'm, you know what, I'm going to keep these, this is slipping, I had to tack that a little bit better, but I am going to keep these pretty much as is, um, and not necessarily this, but I don't plan to cut these up. I really like the bags, and I think they're fun to use as they come. So then the next kit that I'm going to show you is... Uh, March is March, the paper pumpkin kit from March called Glitter Greetings. And these are the two different samples that are provided in the directions. And I made one of the thank yous and one of the congrats. And let me show you what came. So you get eight wood um, embellishments, four in the thank you, four in the congrats. You get the two photopolymer images. And this one is like an arrow one. And then the, I don't know what that's called, sorry. <laughs> so those are the two photopolymer. You get two ink spots. You get the Island Indigo spot and the Calypso Coral spot. These are the little glitter stickers that come for all eight cards. There's two sheets of those in there. The directions. And then this kit makes up eight cards. So it comes with eight white envelopes and then the eight glitter, I mean, sorry, gold foil inserts. Now one thing, and I didn't do that yet with this one, but you can cut your gold foil off below here and then use this to embellish cards. That's kind of been one of my favorite things to do lately. And then these are the card bases. You get eight of those. And then the last thing that's included are the glue dots to glue on your embellishment pieces. So this was March's paper pumpkin kit that comes to you and it is in the U.S. $19.95. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, Chris, at mystamplady.com.